Asia, Siberia. In this vast land inhabited by Yakuz Elinkas, there is a mysterious area called the Valley of Death. For a long time, residents have been telling intriguing stories about metallic boilers and metallic houses that are located in hard-to-reach areas on the Willage River. According to reports, the Evenks have encountered strange objects protruding from the earth for hundreds of years. Due to their semicircular shape, they were called cauldrons. Some of them were allegedly buried deep in the ground and contained underground rooms. Sometimes hunters stayed overnight under the roof of these strange structures. And they reported that the temperature there was pleasant despite the bitter frost outside. According to a Wenkow, it was not possible to stay there for more than one night because prolonged contact could lead to a strange disease that manifested itself in hair loss, rash and skin changes. In 1853, during a research expedition, geographer and naturalist Richard Mack traveled to the Valley of Death and wrote down tales of strange structures. According to the locals, in the forest near the village river there was a gigantic cauldron sticking out of the ground. Mac asked the locals to try to sketch them. He was surprised to discover that the device was made of metal, although the locals described the material as being very rough. A dozen or so consecutive researchers wrote down identical accounts of neighboring tribes, and one of them claimed to have seen a metallic dome protruding from the ground. In the 1920s, a merchant discovered a strange metallic structure in the taiga, the corridor of which led to a warm chamber. The guides told a similar story to a metallic object sticking out of the ground. To all these stories, it is also worth adding the accounts of the builders of the dam on the Willage River. According to the report of the builder of the Wilno Hydropower Project, after the completion of the drainage canal, a convex metal point was discovered in it. Due to the chasing deadlines, after a quick inspection of the find, the management issued an order to continue the work. The most interesting story, however, comes from a Russian gold prospector. At the turn of the 1930s and 1940s, Mikhail Koritsky traveled three times with a Chinese guide through the Valley of Death. He claimed in his expedition notes that he did see metallic structures. Here's what he wrote down. I saw seven mysterious objects called by the local cauldrons. They all amazed me by being completely unreliable constructions. First of all, their size, from 6 to 9 meters in diameter, was astonishing. Two of them were made of strange metal. Everyone says they were made of copper, but I'm sure it wasn't copper. The point is that even with a sharpened chisel, they could not be scratched. The metal would not crack and could not be broken off with a hammer. The copper is coated with an unknown emery-like material. However, it is not tarnishing, it is not scaled. It cannot be crushed or scratched. The vegetation around the cauldrons is not natural, completely different from what grows around, more abundant, and the grass is twice as tall as a person. A whole group of six people spent the night in one of the boilers. We sensed nothing wrong and left him without any unpleasant events. Nobody felt bad after that. Except that three months later one of my friends lost all their hair. Meanwhile, on the left side of my head, where I always sleep, there were three ulcers the size of matchheads. All my life I have tried to get rid of them, but they are with me to this day. In turn, the latest account of the Valley of Death comes from several years ago. During one of the expeditions, a group of people came across a circular swamp showing magnetic changes. After a few days of work, the members of the group started to feel strange. They had dizziness, problems with balance, as well as skin changes and fever. So what were these strange metallic structures and what was their purpose? 
According to Yakut legends, from time to time there was a great battle between the tiger demons. Back then, fireballs were fired from the ground and a series of explosions occurred. Described as blinding white spheres in the sky, the locals said that in the old days such events happened many times, and when everything went quiet and they left their hiding places. They saw metallic cauldrons, which in the following days disappeared underground. Today we know that in 1908 there was a disaster in the nearby area, during which a meteorite exploded just above the ground. In the 13th century, a similar cataclysm took place, after which all the trees were overturned and fragments of rocks were scattered over the area of many square kilometers.